Hey, what is going on guys? It is Heidi Z or HC Gaming coming back to you with uh, another vlog. Um, we're here in our room. Baby Vi is angry. Um, but uh, these clips may be a little backwards. Um, I don't know if I recorded an intro yesterday. But I do have a clip of Violet from yesterday that I want to put in the vlog. And we'll go ahead and do some additional vlogging tomorrow. Kind of give you a, you know, a little bit of update on our day throughout the day. I'm, I'll let you guys know what I'm doing while Athena's at work. Maybe give you a little bit of behind the scenes. Um, what I do when I prep for videos and things like that. That might be a cool thing for you guys to see. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and um, Athena and I are probably going to record... Um, Real talk with Heidi tomorrow at some point. If you hear baby Vi crying in the background, she's just throwing a fit because she wants to come on the yeah, bed. Yeah, she can see us, which is, she used to have a sheet that would cover her when she would go to bed, um, which we did have it ventilated. We didn't cover it fully. We always, we had a fan down there for her as well, but it's getting a little colder. So we don't want her to get too cold at night. So we put the fan away, um, but she ate the sheet. She ate it. But anyways, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes tomorrow. Give you an inside look on how I prepare for videos. How I'm going to research for gaming news with Heidi for next Monday tomorrow. Um, and also, I'm probably going to be recording my... Um, okay. Shut up. Um, you can come on the bed later. My week, NFL Week 7 picks. I think it's Week 7. Um tomorrow as well and I'll kind of give you guys a rundown on you know kind of how I do it I'll write down everything beforehand but you guys will go ahead and see that in a clip tomorrow and she's still pouting stop pouting you can come on the bed after mom's bed. um but yeah and then I think another thing we might want to do is maybe give them a full house tour or should that be a separate video a uh, separate video you want to yeah, we'll, we'll hit you guys with a house tour. Just go ahead and let us know what you like. And I still have some work I need to do in the backyard as well. I actually, maybe while Athena's at school or something tomorrow, we may go to Lowe's or something and vlog a little bit. And I'll pick up some rocks. Um, and we'll definitely go ahead and go from there. But I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next clip. Is that comfortable? Last year, I faced some red down the park. Already on. Dude, he's like me. He's 19 with a jewelry rack. What There's a nigga with his mom. I can't believe that comfortable. Say hi to your people. Oh, bye. I didn't tell you. Stop licking the floor. Say hello. Who touched my door? Hey, what's up guys? We're in the next part of the vlog. Um, Big Vi's right there chewing our bone. All up in Sister Pen's space. And Sister Pen took my spot on the couch, so I am on the floor. I could sit there, but I don't want to sit right there. What's up? You did not drop anything. I don't know why you're looking down. Um, but just watching my one of my new favorite shows, 911. Um, I have to watch it next day on Hulu, because that's when it comes out on Hulu. Because we don't have regular cable TV. Um, but while I'm going to be watching this, I might be doing some prepping for, um, NFL week seven picks. Um, so all I'm going to be doing there is just writing down all the matchups for the week. Cause that's literally what I do on my little notepad that you guys see me reading off of. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and tally my record so far for the, this last week. Um, and you know, I'm going to kind of assess the different matchups and everything like that and pick my winners and who, well, who I think is going to win and we'll definitely go from there. So I'll see you guys in the next clip and maybe we'll do some other stuff today, you guys. You think so? Stop being weird. Hey. Um, but yeah, we'll walk you through um, some other things that we're going to do. I'll start prepping for next week's gaming news with Heidi. Um. I know Athena and I are going to prep for Real Talk with Heidi that comes out tomorrow. Um, so we'll go ahead and try to get you as many clips as possible. Can I help you?
But yeah, see you in the next clip, guys. Hey guys, here for another clip to vlog. Pretty sure she's asleep. I know her eyes are open, but I think she's sleeping. You sleep, 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 sleep. But yeah, um, so I'm doing my NFL Week 7 picks. That's what this notepad is here. Um, and I kind of just want to give you guys a little bit of insight of what I do when I do, like, I write everything down, I look at it, and, you know, really what my process is on making my picks for the week and things like that. Um, there's many factors that I do personally look at. I look at the records for the teams. I, I watch film on all of the teams because um, I, pr I pretty much try to watch every single game if I can. I know that because I don't have cable, I don't have any NFL plan. Um, I can't watch all the games, so I'll watch all the highlights on the NFL app on my phone. Um, and, you know, I read about the teams constantly, and that's what I really base my picks off of, is just the knowledge that I've gained going into the week, and, you know, things like that. And then, um, I know you all have probably looked at my notebook before, you see how I have, you know, these are the matchups here. I circle my pick and then I write something down right here to kind of give me something to talk about when I do um, make the video with you guys. Um, so I haven't done the, I haven't made the picks for Vikings all the way through the Monday night game with the Patriots and the Jets. Cause I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit more insight on how I do it and things like that. And like, um, let's just pick a game. Uh, we'll pick the Ravens versus the Seahawks. Um, both two really, really good teams there, um, and my thing that I was going to write next to it, it's probably, you're probably going to think it's funny, um, but it's the Clash of the Birds. I, I've already done Big Cat's Clash already so far for this week, so I figure, you know, we're going to have a bird fight as well, so, um, that was going to be what I was really going to talk about, just, just a little joke to bring it into, um, you know, discussing that pick, that matchup. I think that's going to be one of the really, really good matchups this week. Um, and just for you guys to have a little insight, that's actually one of my picks for my games of the week. Uh, and I'll go ahead and discuss the other one in the actual video. You're taking the entire couch. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm just writing everything down for it. I'm probably going to go get ready, brush my hair, and get dressed, everything for the day. Um, and probably get something to drink because I am slightly parched. Uh, what are you looking at? Hello. You say hello to the people? This isn't your vlog, but okay. She said everything belongs to her. Um, but yeah. So if you guys kind of want to know what I do while I like write all, all this information down for my videos is I, I'll watch TV. Sometimes I'll watch YouTube videos. Right now I have diners, drive-ins, and dives on because it's something I can turn down and, you know, look up occasionally. Um, it's not something I have to put my full attention into, like my show 911. But, yeah, that's just a little insight on how I make my NFL picks. It all comes down to I look at the records. I look at how the teams are playing. I play fantasy football, so I look at that as well. That really doesn't factor as much into it, but when you see how well the players on certain teams are doing, you can, I don't, you know, I weigh that with a grain of salt because you could have a terrible team, but they have players that do phenomenal. Uh, like the Redskins, they have that rookie. I think his name's McLaurin. I, I have him on some of my fantasy teams, and he's done really, really well. Besides the, I think last week he was out injured, but, you know, that's an example of a team that, you know, isn't doing well, but they have a phenomenal player on their team that gets good fantasy points, but, you know, like, I do, you know, I look at all types of aspects, fantasy, very, very little, but I do look at that, um, I look at the records, I look at film for all the teams, and, you know, I look at the injury reports as well, see who's injured. Um, I know it's a team sport, but when you have a key person that is injured on the team, it can be detrimental to your team. Um, the Panthers, however, it's been a blessing in disguise for them. Not having Cam play, and if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I, I follow the Panthers. I'm a very big Cam Newton fan, and 
you know, when Cam isn't, you know, feeling 100%, the Panthers pay for it. They don't play as well. Um, granted, the Panthers have kind of been carried by Christian McCaffrey the last couple weeks. Their defense has played good. Um, but still, you know, it's kind of been a good thing for them in a sense to have, you know, somebody, you know, a little bit younger to, you know, pop in there and, you know, kind of carry him for the time being. So, yeah, that's just the insight on how I make those picks. And I'll probably be recording that video later while Athena is at work, possibly. And, yeah, so see you guys in the next clip. Hey, guys. Here for another clip of the vlog. Um, I did just record this, but I deleted it because I had to do some fact-checking in the middle of that video. Um, I was just looking at the NFL Power Rankings. Because I like to look at those. It's one of the things that I I tend to... I look at it a little bit when I b make my picks. But I feel like the list is very incorrect sometimes. Um, and I was looking and my Raiders are number 18 on the list. And I do agree that there's a lot of other teams that are better than us that should be ahead of us. I totally agree on that. We are... We're a good team, but not by any means better than a lot of the teams that are in the NFL right now. There are so, a lot of teams that are better than us, and I will admit that as a Raider fan as a, and as a football fan in general. Um, but I was looking. We're ranked number 18. I was like, okay, let's see who's ahead of us. And I had been scrolling through the list, and I agreed with most of the, the spots so far. And then we hit the Lions. Lions are 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. Granted, they did put up a, get, a good game against the Packers, but I just, I don't feel like they're a better team than the Raiders. I really just don't. Um, and then, I think they were in the 13th spot, I believe. I don't remember. And then the Colts, there was a fly, were on the 14th spot. They're three and two, which, you know, understandable, but we beat the Colts. And I just, I don't feel like the Colts are that good of a football team. Um, especially to throw them that much higher. They're ranked higher than the, the Ravens as well. I think the Ravens are like 17th right next to the Raiders. And it's like, the Ravens are playing really, really good football right now. Like, at least put them a little higher. Like... I feel like they should be dropping down a lot of spots. And I feel like what they mostly are rating these teams on is, you know, not just their performance. It's how they look on paper. And how somebody looks on paper doesn't reflect how they play on the field. So, just thought I'd let you know that that irritated me a little bit. And I feel like the Raiders should be a little higher. I don't think they should be that, like, extremely high. But, you know, at least pushing the, the Lions and the Colts down under us, you know, I saw the Cowboys in there as well. They've been they started 3 and 0 and they've lost the last 3 games, but they still have a pretty good team. They just need to figure out what the hell's wrong with them and fix it. And they would be a really good team. They have all the key components. They have a quarterback, running back, offensive line. They're supposed to have a good defense. Um but yeah. I just feel like the Colts and the Lions should not be where they were in that list. And I didn't analyze the entire list, but I was like I was looking at it, I was like what? It was it was surprising for me, so thought I'd let you guys know and I'm probably gonna get ready soon for the day and yeah, it's my day off, so I'm trying to just relax because most of my days off I don't get to just sit and relax and do stuff. Um like record and you know, plan videos and things like that. And yeah. I also need to look at some stuff for my work because it's open enrollment and I need to look at my benefit package to see if I want to change anything, add anything, you know, things like that. I We get to start picking on the 21st of October, making our elections and everything like that. Our contributions are going up just a little bit, but, you know, actually our contributions that we pay are going down. But our prices for certain things on our insurance, our health insurance, are going up slightly, which isn't that big of a deal to me, but it is making me think about possibly getting a flexible spending account to spend on doctor's visits and things like that, because I just feel like it's a smarter thing for me to do, 
since I do go to the doctor a lot because I do have stuff that's wrong with me that they need to fix that I, you know, had tried to get them to fix at Kaiser and Kaiser didn't know how to separate their ass from their face um, sometimes. So, I mean, I had appendicitis for three weeks and could have died. And Kaiser didn't do anything till I finally got a surgeon that said, you had appendicitis the first time you went to the hospital. They just gave you uh, antibiotics to try to fix it because that's what they're doing in Europe. And if that's what they're doing in Europe, that's cool. But I'm not trying to have my appendix rupture and me die because of it. Um, so, yeah, um, I still haven't even gone to see my my doctor with my new job, my new insurance yet. Um I had elected for a certain doctor, but then I found out she wasn't having any appointments until next year. But the way that it's looking for me right now, I might just switch back to her and just try to get an appointment for some time next year to go see her so we could start fixing what's wrong with me. And if you guys want me to talk about that, I definitely can. Um, well, maybe we'll add that in this coming weekend's vlog. And yeah, because I know you guys like the longer vlogs. Sometimes I see that we get a lot more views on those, so... Yeah, see you in the next clip, guys. Okay. Like, like <laughs> you got weird looking hairs on your knee. <laughs> Oh, I hold your hand. I thought I would pop in on you guys real quick. Let me turn this down so I don't get copyrighted. Um, but I'm doing research for um, Real Talk with Heidi right now. And we're going to end up doing the National Coming Out Day one this coming Saturday. Because I want to have, um, there's some resources I want Athena to get from her club at school. So we can just have those for the video. But so instead, the video that's going up on Wednesday is going to be, a, it's going to be a real talk with Heidi, but it's basically going to be about my, my experience with mental illness, um, you know, my PTSD, anxiety, and depression, and, um, I was, you know, I'm trying to get some hotlines for you guys, just so, you know, you guys have resources to be able to look at, and, um, I'm, I'm I shit you not, this puppy, she's only about, seven months old not even seven months yet um and she she walked over from the other side of the room because this is some hard that it, it's a difficult thing for me to talk about and especially research um but I want to I want to try to be a resource for somebody um because I didn't have resources like what I'm trying to give to you guys when I was younger I didn't I was too afraid to talk say anything about what had happened to me but that's kind of what we're gonna go over in this video and I just I saw um there was a I think it was a fact um a study a, st a statistic um on this website for the national sexual assault hotline and I was looking at it and it's just it just appalls me and it's like uh, it's a hard thing for me to talk about and you know this puppy, she, she was all the way on the, she was all the way over there by our, our sliding glass door. She's on the floor sleeping now, but she, she walked under my legs and I was riding and she put her head up to my face and started kissing my face. And like, if anybody tries to tell me that dogs aren't smart and they don't know what's going on, I, I dead ass know that dogs know your feelings because Penny knows my feelings too. She's just in the other room sleeping, but She's been here for me since before it happened. Um, actually, when it started happening, you know, um, she's been here with me for the since the beginning, and she would help me with my nightmares when I'd have nightmares. But you'll hear more about that in the video. But I just wanted to tell you guys how smart these dogs are, and you know, especially for a little seven month, not even seven month old puppy to run up to me and you know, just be calm and you know touch me and make me feel like you know everything's okay and you know I don't have to go back to that place it's just it's amazing so 
expect to see them in the video. I'm going to try to get them both on the couch with me. They'll probably jump up and down. I know she will, but um, yeah, that's going to be coming out tomorrow, but I'm doing all the research for it now. So we'll see you guys in the next clip of the vlog. I just wanted to let you guys know. I thought that was pretty cool and, you know, these dogs are super smart and, you know, definitely super helpful for me. Um, and yeah, so see you in the next clip. Oh, hi guys. We're setting up the lights for the Real Talk with Heidi video that I just told you guys about. Um, and I'm just getting everything set up. I have that one set up, but I tried to do it with just this light up here, our ceiling light on, and that wasn't working for me. Then I tried to do it with just the windows and the door, the blinds open, but that wasn't working for me either. So now what we're doing is we're just setting up um, the lights that I have for recording YouTube videos. So. And here, you take it. I gotta tell them about the thing that's on the map. Oh yeah, Vi has a nationwide okay. yeah. pet policy. Vi has um, pet insurance, but we got this thing from Nationwide with Lady and the Tramp on it. And it says that you're supposed to tear at the dotted line, stand a few feet back from your pet, and then take a picture and post it. It's a contest. And so it's a bowl of spaghetti. So we have to hold it up to Vi and take a picture of her and then post it with the hashtag they gave us so we can win um, a Disney experience, which could be a studio lot tour, a tour of Walt Disney's office, airfare, two night hotel stay for four, $500 spending cash and more. Lit fam. Right, babe Vi? So Vi about to sit up so we can take a piss of her. <laughs> Wait, for four? Can we use them as our other yeah, two? they're the other two. And if they say no, then we'll take the children. Oh, yeah. Wait, what were we going to say to the other children? They get to wash the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They might actually let us bring the dogs, but then two other people as well. I mean, it would only make sense. It's a freaking dog thing. She, we only got it because she has pet insurance. Yeah. I have Vi, Vi. Oh, and Are Vi they was looking at also me? um yeah. Vi was also playing with her princess when I was opening the Disney stuff. Yeah. So Yeah. Um but I through my work we had an option to elect for pet insurance and Penny's too old for me to elect for pet insurance for her. But I think her policy that I have for her it's like a two hundred and fifty dollar deductible. But I got the entire, like, package to where it's the, the top tier insurance that they have. It's only 30 bucks out of my paycheck each, two, every two weeks, which is not that bad when you think about how much it costs for, you know, random vet bills and things like that. All I'd have to do is submit the claims to Nationwide. Uh, we're not sponsored, by the way. Maybe one day. Nationwide? Maybe. Um, but I just thought it was something super beneficial to have because she's a baby. And, you know, even as she gets older, I'm going to keep her on the insurance policy. I really wish I could have gotten it for Penny, but they said that dogs over the age of 10, you cannot get them on the policy. Same thing with cats. But I was like, why am I going to get insurance on a cat if I don't have a cat? But even if I did, I just... Okay. But yeah, we're, we're setting up. See you guys in the next clip. Hey, what is going on, guys? Heidi Z. Athena. <laughs> I thought you were going to do your... No, I'm not doing the right, intro. This is the, this is the end of the video, princess. So, uh, you started it out like you were going to, and I feel like you stopped yourself halfway because you realized no, it wasn't I, a new video. No, I, I knew exactly what I was doing. Don't question me. Um, we're just here to record the last clip of this vlog for you guys. We're going to go ahead and edit it after this, and then after we get back from her meeting, we'll start uploading it or... I'll start recording my other video, and then I'll upload this. Um, it depends. We might have to upload first and then record the other one because of space issues on my phone. But I we do have another good. phone that we could use for Baby Vi's phone. Oh, wait. We could film videos on that. Yeah. And then we'd have... Because we just delete all the pictures off that, and that could be our filming phone. And then you'd have your phone, and you have to st you can stop... Deleting all deleting my stuff. everything off your phone. Uh, Why yeah. didn't we think of that? Why well, are we I dumb? knew we had it, but I just didn't think of it. Um, well, and it's a newer phone, so it might have better Well, editing. we can also then both have our phones. Yeah. Uh, for the quizzes and stuff. Yeah. 
that would be a good resource for me to be able to, you know, scroll through, especially when I'm doing my NFL picks or, you know, my gaming news with Heidi. Yeah. We're smart. Um, then you wouldn't have to write everything down. No, I, I like writing I mean, like, everything down. Yeah, but, like, if you wanted, like, pictures of stuff or, like... Yeah, for the fact video, when I'm going to do another Real Talk with Heidi, um, you'll find out about that in tomorrow's Real Talk with Heidi. Um, that'd be really good because I want to go into some facts on a website and things like that, so that'll be better for that. Um, Plus, it's always at the house, so whoever. Yeah, it's in her little diaper bag. No, it's in my desk. It's in your desk? I put yeah. it in her diaper bag. It's in my desk. You put it in my desk. Then whoever's home can just grab that one, and then we don't have to worry about, like, sending it to each other when we take videos yeah. on different phones. Because we can just edit it on that phone, too, because you have YouTube on that phone. Mm -hmm. And that phone probably has a bigger storage than your phone, because your phone's older. Try to talk shit. I'm just saying, why are we thinking about this now? Anyways, um, this is it. This is going to be it for the vlog. Um, like I said in the previous clip, yeah, they're out. Okay. Um need to see the girls. Give me the phone. The girls are out out right now. There's a pen. She out out. And Vi is out out. Vi also got dressed today. Yeah, I, they she saw She put her necklace on. Yeah. Um, but. Did she move? Yeah, just go um, ahead. But yeah, that's that's gonna be it for this vlog, you guys. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions going forward on any other vlogs that we should do, any other um, um what? <laughs> if you have any other video suggestions, we'd be more than happy to hear them. Um, any you should probably charge that phone. <laughs> any questions you guys want to ask us in the Q and A? Anything like that. That's coming up this Friday. I already put a post on my Facebook asking people to send me questions for it. No um, one's sending you questions, so they're just giving I've ideas for other videos. I mean, at least... People! Well... I asked for questions! No, you didn't. You add, You said, does anyone... We're planning on doing a QA and a on Friday. Um, anyone have any questions or video suggestions? And then you just continued. So everyone, instead of questions, is doing video suggestions. I'll read it to you how you put it. Watch. You put, I need suggestions for Friday's video. It's either a Q&A or a random video. So if you guys could comment questions you would like me to answer for it, I would greatly appreciate it. And then you talk about the questions. But you said, I need suggestions it can either be a Q&A or a random video. Because that's so what people, Friday's video is. So people are only putting ideas for random videos. Why the fuck would my mom put costume contests? Mom, come on. I don't know. But one person said Halloween is coming up. That's a good topic. So like something based around like Halloween. We could do pumpkin carving. Except that takes me like a full six hours to do, but... Yeah, and we wouldn't be able to do a like, little fast-forward edit thing on the video on a cell phone. Yeah, we just wouldn't. Yeah, you can. You can? Anyways. Oh! Time-lapse. I don't think my phone has that. Uh, that one definitely does. Your phone doesn't have portrait either. Yeah, your phone doesn't have any of this. Stop talking shit, bro. It was cheaper. I bought the phone. Well, we can do a time lapse, and that'll speed it up. Um, but yeah, anyways, you guys, if you have question ideas for the Q&A, please comment them down below. Tweet me. Comment on my Instagram. Comment on my Facebook. Should we make a Facebook fan page for the channel? Sure. We'll do that. Um... We'll think about doing some ideas for our logo as well. I have an idea. I know you have the idea. I like mm -hmm. the idea you had. I, did you draw it again? No, I have it. I made it on my computer. I After I drew it on a napkin. I found it the other day when I was deleting videos. Oh, wonderful. Um, but I have business cards already. Yes, I made business cards for my YouTube channel when I first started. Leave me alone. I like them. Um... I should probably take them and pass them out at your meeting later, maybe? Mm -hmm. I'll think about it. Um, but anyways, you guys, just go ahead and give us suggestions on other things. Sorry, that was and, just um, letting me know we're going to have to leave soon. Yeah. 
But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really do appreciate you and all your commitment to our channel and our videos. We greatly appreciate everything you do for us. And if you like the video, go ahead and like it down below. Comment suggestions, like I said before. Question ideas for the Q&A. Um, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'd love to see you become a Zoomian and join the Zoom Nation. And again, thinking about doing merch eventually. Um, we'll look at this design and maybe show it to you guys. And hopefully we'll go ahead and go from there. If in I the find future. it, we'll insert a picture after this. Yeah, or we'll go ahead and tweet it on Twitter, put it on Facebook, and we'll go ahead and make the Facebook page. We'll just do so both, you guys can but we'll it. also insert it after this video if I find it. If yeah. I don't find it, I'll draw it real quick and then like we'll have that idea. Yeah, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We appreciate you, and as always, much love and peace. Bam!